Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Draco Thuban, and you are now watching Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission! Now with twice as much Samus as the original. That's right, more Metroid. I'm uh, going back to a console game here. Um, there's actually a reason behind it. I recently broke my clavicle. So I am down to one arm that I can really freely use. Um, the other arm's in a sling. So I can use a controller, a D-pad, but I can't two-hand control on a laptop or a computer or anything like that. Uh, so this is what you get. You get more Metroid from me. So uh, we return to Samus' first ever adventure with a little twist. Uh, this is Metroid Zero Mission. It is a uh, re -re remake, re-release, kind of, of the uh, first Metroid game for the Nintendo. This is for the Game Boy Advance. Um, it's uh, updated graphics, uh, updated uh, movement and controls for uh, Samus, and uh, overall, a lot better game, in my opinion, than the original, although the original was pretty game-breaking for its time. Um, this game is uh, a lot easier to pick up and learn and play and and have fun with. Um, this is a uh, kind of new addition to the series of these uh, Chozo statues that react uh, when you morph ball into them. Uh, Super Metroid had a couple of them, but not this uh, not not in this style. These ones will actually refill your energy and your uh, special weapons, and they'll tell you where to go next. So it says we should go up here. Um, I'm not going to be following the Chozos. I'm going to be sequence breaking just like I normally do with uh, Metroid. Um, I'm going for a 100% speedrun again, um, although I'm not really going too crazy about it. Um, I just want to show you guys the best ending. Uh, I probably will at some point um, uh, use, use and abuse safe states because some of the stuff that you can do in here is just plain hard and it's very frustrating trying to get the first time uh, let alone sub subsequent times so I might have to retry an area a few times now I'm not going to be save states for the simple goal of uh, trying to get like a better time or something like that just simply for trying to actually complete something now this here is interesting you can hit this block with your long beam if you do it just right, but you have to be, you see how that one was along the center? You have to be already crouching when it's fired for it to actually make it across. So, we've got the long beam. Normally we'd have to go up and then over and down, but using that method we can skip through that area, still get the long beam early like we're supposed to um, in the normal game, but uh, not have to worry about the uh, some of the more dangerous fight that's up there that I don't want to get into and it takes too much time anyway so I don't want to have to deal with it. So we're gonna head down here and start tackling our first uh, boss of the game. Um, boss names and stuff like that I'm not too keen on. Um, there's gonna be a couple of familiar ones and a couple of not so familiar ones. Um, like this one is very unfamiliar and I'm going to save state. <laughs> because uh, I want to get him on the first try. I don't want to uh, I don't want to have to fight him again later. But this worm thing, uh, you got to kill you you can only hit him when he opens his eye. Um, he'll dive at you and then go back up with his eye open. Three hits, he's dead. But if you miss any one time, um, he's going to leave and then you've got to try to kill him again in a different area. Um, so I just like getting him done over with right there. Get my charge beam and I can move on. Now a lot of uh, speedrunning guides will not get the charge beam there. Um, it is faster to leave it and get it later. Um, but I just like having it. I don't know. Just me. But now I have missiles so I can enter red doors. So let's see what we've got over here. These lovely fly creatures that love to uh, swarm you and beat the crap out of you. They're not fun. And our first little secret area, come back here and...
those little hives take a little doing to kill, but hey, we get a missile tank. We got a couple more of those hives that we're going to have to kill. There's one. And two. There we go. Once they're dead, we never have to worry about them again, thankfully. So we can just move on. There's a missile tank right there. Easy to easy to miss that one if you uh, aren't paying attention. And then an energy tank, finally. All right. Whoops. Yeah, now make sure... That's one kind of weird thing about this one. Jumping is a little difficult to get used to. It's actually a lot easier than in other Metroid games um, because it kind of stops you as soon as you land. But the key takeaway in this is if you fire while you're in midair, while you're somersaulting, if you have any upward velocity at that point, it's, you're going to lose it all. You're just going to start dropping from that point. So, if you're trying to make a long jump, don't try to shoot in the middle of it. Okay, we're uh, a little bit away from the bombs. Now, um, I'm probably not going to go five minutes just like a, or ten minutes a, a piece just like I was saying on the uh, portal run um, I will get back to the portal run for those of you who really want to see it um, I'm sorry I will get back to it I just need to heal up from this and then I'll be good um, but uh, until then this is what you get so I'm just gonna go for as long as I think uh, I can go as long as it's comfortable for me and that I have uh, really time for and then uh, we'll try another one another day so now we have the bombs so we've got uh, quite a bit of what we've had in uh, previous Metroids and Super Metroids um, one thing you'll notice this game is probably more akin to Super Metroid than the original Metroid but the storyline is more akin to the original Metroid than any other so it's almost as if somebody made a, uh, a ROM hack of a, a Super Metroid and turned it into Metroid. Now, here's our first sequence breaking. You kinda have to know how to bomb jump to do this. Uh, not kinda, you really you have to know how to bomb jump, there's no other way about it. And you have to be fairly good at it because you've got to be able to improvise the timing of your jumps to either be slower or faster depending on where those, uh, the armor beetle things are. So if you see one coming, you've got to know how to speed it up, or if you don't think you're going to make it, how to slow it down. Which I'm not doing a very good job showing you right now, but it's been kind of awkward timing here, so I need to hurry up, so let me scoot past that guy. There we go. Alright, so there we go. Our first sequence break. We should not be here yet, um, but we are. Ow. And uh, because we're not supposed to be here yet, this Chozo statue is going to tell us to go somewhere we really shouldn't be going yet. Which is down into Norfair. Somewhere into Norfair, wherever that may be. Um, and that will also sit down all the other Chozo statues. Not like it's going to matter, but any other Chozo statues that we should have gotten between him and that will be sitting down now. Um, you might see one or two. Uh, a little bit later, but... Oh, hey, we get the, uh... Oh, come on. Missiles. So we get five early missiles for our trouble. I know you're thinking, but why would you come all this way for a measly five missiles? I wouldn't. Okay, so... More bomb jumping. Got to make sure you can bomb jump to the side as well. This one takes some practice because if you do it wrong, you end up blowing up that platform a little early or you hit in a pit in that guy and uh, you fall back down and it gets really frustrating because the blocks below you are gravity blocks. So as soon as you fall onto them, they bust up and uh, down they go. So normally this isn't the first time you see those guys. Um, we're actually not going to see those guys uh, again, except for in this area. Um, but we need to get up there. And this is probably going to be one of the first areas that I start abusing, 
abusing save states. So um, basically we need to set a bomb and start moving just after, right before it explodes. So let's see if I can do that again. Yep, there you go, perfect. <laughs> of course I say I'm gonna use save slots and then I don't need to. Yep, there we go. It begins. There we go. Hopefully I can get that to work. Fantastic. One last bomb there. And then I gotta let them do their thing and eat away at that plant thing over there. And now my prize for going all the way over here. The various suits already! Ha ha ha! Oh, it's so nice to have this thing really. Damage reduction, no acid hit, no acid damage, no heat damage. Oh gosh, that's really freaking good. I love it. So, as you saw, weapons and health restored fully. Uh, I don't have to worry about them. Um, there's an energy tank down there, and I can get it. It's a lot easier to get now that I don't have to worry about taking damage. Now, the various suit is one item that speedrunners don't get because if you get the final suit later on in the game which obviously we're going to you have to um, it will automatically give you the various suit like you had got it along so a lot of people will skip it completely which is fine if you can do it and you want to go ahead uh, I'm not that skilled I, I can't I can't quite make it like that so Anywho, now it looks like this first episode is going to be mostly just collecting items, no real bosses. Um, another little uh, area that we're probably not supposed to be getting into yet, but uh, this one's a little harder to uh, do because you've got to really pay attention to that top guy there and. Uh, manage your speed so that you can pass him, not get hit by him. Get missiles early and uh, we're good to go. Um, we're going to be head headed down to uh, the boss of Brinstar here shortly. Um, if I can go the right way, anyway we are. But that's not the right way. The right way is backwards. Why you might ask? Because we have more items to fetch. We will never be coming this way again. So if I don't get them now, I will never get them. Alright, missile tank and uh... As you can see, you can wall jump in this one. Um, it's a little bit more difficult than in uh, Super Metroid. Um, but it's not uh, impossible at all. Um, just uh, it takes a little bit of a faster touch instead of hitting away and then jump it's more of a way and jump at the same time to wall jump so I think uh, I'm gonna head my way over to uh, Brinstar and then I will stop there um, continue on in another video here perhaps maybe only a couple more things for me to really get up here at least that I can get right now I think I'm doing pretty good so far I got 35 missiles and uh, two energy tanks and now that makes 40 missiles um, and I think all I've got left is one energy tank to get that super missile will be mine later can't get it now need speed booster don't have speed booster. Can't get speed booster. Not yet. One final bomb jumping puzzle for this area. Arg! Energy tank, you are mine. There you go. Energy tank acquired. 
So now we can go in here, bomb this. And we hit the elevator room for Brinstar. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Let's play Metroid Zero Mission Part 1. Uh, hopefully you can join us next time where we will destroy Kraid? Maybe? Big green guy? Anybody? See you next time.